so you see uh, I cannot find I cannot find PC or AP directly but can I find AC let's revise some vector again so AC is equals to uh, O O A oh no no, no. okay A O then O C very good A O then O C okay I got it already oh you can do thing already, uh? yeah really just yeah. like that Okay, so from here then you will find AC, right? Yeah, minus then 5A plus 5C. Minus 5A, 5A that's correct. Minus 5C. After plus that, you divide 5C. by 5 to find 1. So after that, to find PC, after that, 5C plus PC, get the answer. Ah, also can. Yeah. Understand? Then PQ you can do? Yeah. Ah, then I don't record this. Uh, then P, okay. how do I do this? Like Explain why PQ is parallel, is it? Yeah. Okay, now. The B part, uh, B part. Okay, how do I explain if PQ is parallel to CB? Question mark. The answer is you need to be able to at least tell me like that. Oh, so use K. Ah, uh, use the K. So if you can set up this equation, then you are able to show that it is. Parallel. So how do you show? Usually, what I do is I'll take PQ uh -huh. divide by CB, okay. and then I will have certain vector, certain vector. Okay. And then I will factorize the vector, and then I can try to cancel out the vector. Oh, that's, uh, that's then I'm left with a number. So if I cannot factorize, yeah. I cannot get a same base, then mm -hmm. it is not parallel. Okay. Okay, now this one? Ratio. Okay. So the ratio of CB is. Same, so CB over PQ. Oh. You try to find a ratio. A oh, number, a number. Okay. Then you multiply. Then you just write, then, then you can convert this into a ratio. Ma. So CB is to PQ is a number is to a number. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then the from the zero one, like why is it start from zero? Like Which part? This one. The, no, the graph part. Then I start the video here first. That's not the graph. Can I start first? Yeah. Yes. yes.